today's KHSAA UK Sports, UK Healthcare and Sports Medicine State Finals. Today's winners of the 3A Game Worthy Academy of Louisville. Coach Hunter Kentwell, you induce your players and then take it from there. This is Gavin Copenhaver. This is our running back linebacker. This is Noah Hazlip, our offensive center. Cole Hodger, quarterback. Opening remarks, super proud of this team, uh, this group. They missed the 2018 state championship, right? There was a three there, three year run there for Christian Academy where uh, they won two state championships. They were in the conversation uh, in 2017, and the bar had been set very high. Obviously, uh, Coach LaForce uh, takes a job down in Louisiana, and I think there was a lot of questions with this group of seniors, Noah and Gavin among, among them, and myself, if that type of success could continue. And it started off in their freshman year. Uh, didn't go the way we wanted it to go. But these guys kept the faith, kept the faith in the coaching staff and one another. And their hard work has paid off today, and they can, can leave this program knowing that they've kept the bar extremely high. The Christian Academy is still a force to be reckoned with out in the state. So, so proud of them, so proud of what they've done from January up until now. That's allowed them to have the success and excited um, for this next chapter in Christian Academy World of Football. Questions? Okay. Hunter, not just a running clock, but a shutout. I mean, what does that mean for not just the offense defense? Yeah, I mean, it's phenomenal in the state championship game, but honestly, that's been the expectation all year. And these guys have risen up. Um, you know, Marsh has a great football team. That means that we didn't feel like we played up to our capability in the first half, which you, know, you understand that, you know, being on the big stage. Uh, but when we settled in and these guys executed at a high level and they took care of business, and that's been the result all year. And we told them before coming out of the game that this game didn't have to be any different and it wasn't. Lynn, first half or second half, there looked like they kind of started getting into a little bit more rhythm offensively and get the stops and all the way. Again, kind of kind of knockout punches there. What what happened? Maybe what was going on there that made things a little easier? Yeah, the defense came up with two huge stops. Right, they had, they put together two nice drives, and our defense you know held fast. And you know, that's a product of, of an upperclassman group of a senior laden team um, to not get flustered and you know, to not get frustrated when the, you know when Tom puts together a couple of drives like that. We're able to get those stops and then. And the offense has just been waiting. We've been waiting for those first two quarters to really explode. Obviously, we have a player like Gavin Copenhaver, among others, uh, get the ball in their hands and great things can happen. Obviously, it takes all 11, but those were two huge plays that we felt like put the game away. Hunter, for you, last year, obviously, with the sour taste in your mouth, you had told me that you guys have been talking about it all year, trying to get over that hump all year, and then you do and cap it off with this. Knowing what happened last year, what does it what does it mean now to be standing here? Yeah, honestly, um, and I know a lot of teams probably feel this way. You know, it was two two years ago, the Ashland Blazers won it. We lost to Elizabeth Town in the state semifinals, and we felt like we would need to play well to beat E Town. Um, didn't watch the Ashland Blazer team, but we felt like we were in the conversation to compete for a state championship. And then last year, being number one uh, all year, being upset at home against the Tillman. We, we told the guys, it's not many teams across the state that can really come up short two, two years in a row and then still have an opportunity for a third. So just extremely blessed uh, to be a Christian Academy, to have those opportunities. And uh, our guys took advantage of it and came out and made sure what happened in the last two years didn't have position. Hey, Gavin, um, obviously a lot of offensive weapons on this team. They get a lot of publicity, but... I think that was the sixth shutout of the season for this defense. What, what made this defense so strong? What were the characteristics that made you all so, so good on defense? Uh, yeah, so like Campbell said, we're a heavy senior defense, so uh, we played together for uh, going on two months, and we've been playing together for like three years starters. Um, but I mean, we have speed everywhere, we're all super disciplined. Um, so just all that combined uh, just makes it dangerous. Gavin, for you being a captain on this team, what does that mean to you, and how did you use that to kind of carry yourself throughout the year? Uh, I'm, very I'm very blessed to be a captain. I was a captain last year, but I mean, 
really, I'm, I'm blessed because my teammates see me as uh, being able to lead the team. And for them to nominate me, uh, it's a huge role for me. I know I step, step up, but I'm very grateful for them nominating me. Awesome. You know, the decision center, the first one, can you tell me what the The what? Oh, uh, so we all have a Bible verse on our helmet, and uh, we all just kind of, our dads put a Bible verse on our helmet, with every verse they want on there is when they put it, so that's just kind of what that is, mine's on the front, everyone else is in the back. What's it mean? Uh, it's just like, so, thank you. Yeah, it's like, it says, I, I think it's, it's pretty much like, God has given us everything. So, and he gives us strength, and we're all equal. So, I mean, that's basically kind of what it means. Gavin, you've been a home run hitter all year long, and you hit the home run there twice in the third quarter. For you, kind of, you go through the first half, and you don't have it. What is that What is that like going into the locker room? What are you thinking about? What's that mental process, knowing that it can come in an instant? Uh, yeah, so I just got to stay calm. Um, just trust the coaches that... Just wait for a play, wait for our line to, our line's great, just wait for a hole to open up. Well, obviously, I know the special seniors running to get off the state championship. I mean, there's a lot of numbers, a lot of different guys on the field. How much does that add to you trying to get back here? We're still just having an offense. Oh, for sure. Uh, this is a great experience, uh, once in a lifetime experience. So, we're going to get back to it for sure. Uh, we're in the offseason, Coach Campbell, we got great coaches. So. What does it mean though? It means everything. Um, you know, just every game, one step, one step at a time. Every every game, every week, keep prep, keep preparing for them, and just go play. Well, they say the quarterback is the most important position on the field. I think if I'm right here, it's 48 touchdowns and four interceptions for you. What do you think you proved your junior year? Um, I think I proved a lot. Um, I have great receivers, great O-line, great coaching, and I'm so blessed. Position. What are you hoping to about quarterbacks? What is it like to watch all these play like this, even on this stage as well? First time in the state championship. Yeah, I mean, he's phenomenal. Uh, we were kind of joking around in the coach's office this week. Uh, I believe that minimum attempts, don't quote me on this, the just a play is 175. And I'll have to go back and look at it, but we were telling him if the season ended today, uh, I think he's fourth or fifth all time. In a season, so I mean that just right there it shows. I think the only notable name ahead of them was uh, Tim Couch, and they were joking. And they kind of find, found me like way down at the bottom of the list, like 38 or 40. So uh, what he's done uh, this year from the quarterback position, obviously it's, it's a collective group, uh, but he's in the record books. He's one of the tops all time this season. Uh, just a junior, very excited to see what uh, he's going to do next year, and, and way way better than I ever dreamed of being. Final question. Can we get one for the center? <laughs> yeah, I got one for the center. Well, this means everything to me. This is coming in here. This is everything you work for. You work for this year round. And to do it with two other seniors who I've played with my entire time in Cal since elementary school, it means everything to me. And having Coach Campbell for four years has been great. It's Perfect ending to all the. Did you no. think that back in the summertime and the off season that 15 that was possible? Absolutely, that's what we're always working for. Like last year with Padua Tillman, you know, we felt like we came up short and we redeemed ourselves this year. Is no, there a way to put into words when the clock hits zero, and this is really for anybody, what that feeling is like to know that you finally climbed the top of the mountain? I just think um, all the hard work you know finally paid off. You know all the early mornings in January, all the early mornings, all the after school, all the hard work that the coaches have put us to, they paid off. Kind of building off what he said, it's uh, a lot, a lot of relief. Um, we've been working for this since January, and our seniors have been working for us since for four years. And so just like it's our senior year, um, it's just that sense of our final game. We already come out and get a running clock. It's just a sense of relief. Uh, yeah, so I think um, this is going to be a big thing for us. You know, we've got 
If Cole still has another year, we still have a great coaching staff. Um, our receivers are still young. I mean, I mean, we're getting some more players. So I mean, I think this play, this program can go really far. Okay, Coach Campbell and the Christian Academy of Lowell, congratulations on your championship. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you.